Whew. Okay, uh, let's go to last but not least, provided and sponsored by G Phone. G Phone is in Google Games and Gear. That's a sponsor. G Phone, G Phone, make yeah. G Phone. Yeah, G Phone, G Fuel. I love Kotaku because <laughs> they're a joke. Every time they do something, they're a joke. So they tweeted Ooh. out, right? Immortals of a- Avium? Yeah. Uh, a game that maybe, you know. 20 people have heard of uh <laughs> it's a grim time for single player games uh so they're basically they're saying like because this game didn't do well single player games are like dying uh, so twitter has this function where like people can fact check things and like let community other notes. people know yeah. oh i uh, love community notes yeah, everybody dude. gets violated so everybody <laughs> put on the community notes that like Baldur's gate three was game of the year which most people played by themselves if not you know like they could play co-op but most people were playing it like by themselves and then they shared articles of like other top selling games for the year (laughs) uh and like the the list of best games for last year right best selling games hogwarts legacy single player spider-man 2 single player tears of the kingdom single player (laughs) diablo 4 is like the same realm as boulders gate but people played it single player uh jedi survivor single player starfield absolutely single player Mario wonder uh, split screen like cool resident evil 4 remake which was nominated for game of the year single player uh and then you know just like a bunch of others final alan fantasy wake 16 2. alan wake 2 um armor core 6, even armor core core 6 yeah Mario so, like i don't know they they like literally just like kotaku starfield. like tried to make this like like stance of like (laughs) single player games being dead and everybody's like what are you talking about (laughs) like that is the worst take i've ever heard (laughs) granted this so this immortals of avium game it it got like decent reviews it actually looked cool i remember seeing the trailer for it uh and it got like good reviews it did sell okay but it it definitely like didn't stand out because it like i think it came out the week after Baldur's gate 3 which was like literally like how could you have a chance to do another it's another titanfall 2 situation they sandwich right exactly right right it was like a good game got like lost in literally like the game of the year uh also so apparently and are we a developer (laughs) at fault for this no surely it is the gamers that are stupid (laughs) well that that's the problem too right it's like the developer on top of kotaku were blaming like gamers like oh you guys like this game failed because you guys didn't buy it and play it it's like no we just we bought the better game like uh i just want to mention apparently it costs 85 million to develop and then EA kicked oh, in 40, EA took, yeah, EA uh, uh, kicked in 40 million for marketing distribution, which is surprising to me because I rarely saw ads for this game. I mean, like, right. I, I remember I, I, anything for this I, game. The, the only time there's two times I saw one, I think was at the last or year before that's Game Awards, I believe. And the other one was just like a random ad. But it was like it was so rare to see it. To, right. Yeah, um, it came out two weeks after Baldur's Gate 3. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, to be fair, to be fair, I don't think a lot of people ex- uh, anticipated how massive Baldur's Gate 3 came out to be. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think it was going to be as like ex- commercially explosive as it was. Or, true, like, that, true. That, that's the level that true. it was. Right. But yeah. like, but once they realized that, which they had a, just enough time, they could have hit a delay. They could have been like, uh, yeah, we're pushing it back and just say the, the classic um, uh, we're cleaning up bugs. Right, like, we need more right. time. We need right. more time. But so they did, and now so EA is going to be like, okay, never again are we doing a single player game ever. <laughs> right. Ever. And it's like EA of all people is like, ow, what just happened? Like, come on. <laughs> oh, surely it's not the the single player games must be dead because our game that didn't oh, do so hot that nobody heard wait, of didn't do well like guys, against uh, a highly anticipated game that literally people are still talking about. Right, uh, right. <laughs> then also, Derek, I'm not sure you saw this, but I wanted to mention it. It's talk related. Uh, do you guys know the channel? Do you know gaming? No. Yeah. Did you know game? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I heard. Oh, they it. like stole yeah, an yeah, article yeah, yeah. No, of okay. his, right? No, this is what happened. They they wrote about what happened with Did You Know Gaming and like I think it was finding lost F Zero game like that was completely like erased from the internet. And oh, Kutaku, that's right. And Kutaku, yeah. and Kutaku wrote about it. 
but they didn't mention it was from Did You Know Gaming. They didn't link to Did You Know Gaming. That's they didn't, plagiarism. Like, yeah, and, so, and then, um, then they came out with like two retractions, and it was just in like like you know the very bottom, like oh we just we didn't mention Did You Know Gaming, and the second time like oh we didn't link to them. But then apparently, in, Did You Know Game put uh, like had a beef about it on uh, on X, and then apparently. They they followed up because uh, Kotaku's editor in chief reached out to them and like apologized greatly, said it will never happen again. But how embarrassing is that? Like, how do you how do you as a journalist not like if you're writing about this story, how are you not going to reference the person who broke the story? You know? Right. Like, right. Yeah. <laughs> you, you that's insane. <laughs> and like everybody know, like, did you know gaming is not a small channel? Like, it's not easy right. to plagiarize like someone like that. Come on. <sighs> It's uh, yeah. It, <laughs> How are these literal journalistic parasites still in operation? Why won't they die? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a lot. There, there's been talk for years that Kotaku fudges their numbers with with um site views. Like a lot of it doesn't make sense. Like how they. Uh, oh, absolutely. They, they, oh, yeah, for they, sure. Yeah, there's been stories about like it. It actually. It, they, there are a lot of people who believe that Kotaku actually. Uh, bots their own website so then their advertisers just keep paying them money because like you know unless it's hate bait articles basically like this one um no one really reads kotaku <laughs> yeah i was gonna say i check it for the <laughs> stupid things they say regularly right right but... like remember the time where it's like there before you guys were on this um oh, they had the this, Elden they, ring they, thing they, yeah, oh my god this, dude. this I woman remember... Yeah. watching it <laughs> this, yeah th- yeah this woman was uh she was pro- pro- she was upset because there wasn't enough like black hairstyles which is kind of which is stupid because in elden ring how often are you playing it without a helmet like none of realistically helmets don't hairstyles don't matter in the game like and right. and, and it's and there were options but there just wasn't enough for them and it was just like such a stupid article for race baiting and it was just like oh i love this game but it's hard for me to play because there's not enough hair black hairstyles like yeah that's what's keep that you know what that's what's holding me back from the perfect game there's not, you know, it's like, imagine if I said, wow, there's not enough uh, long haired styles for men. I can't play this game. Right. You know, like, no, that's stupid. Whatever. Beard um, options are very limited. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, I, I, I can't get a Fu Manchu. I, 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 I can't play. I can't play this game. Sorry, guys. I, I, I can't have Monopoly Man mustache. <laughs> not I can't for play me. this game. I'm putting the camera on Rob because he looks so intent on something. <laughs> you look like you're focusing super hard. You like, just you're... really friggin' bothered by Kotaku's <laughs> existence and that I have to be reminded of it at every turn in my oh, life. Dude, it's insane. Right. It's like every other week with them, it's like some idiotic like article. If it's not or Kotaku, it's up. fucking Polygon half the time. Like, uh, well, yeah, oh, I mean, they're literally owned. Oh, they're yeah, hand in hand. I wish yeah, these hand, assholes yeah. would just shut up. <laughs> Well, they got a hate bait and they have to they have to know their hate. Baiting, and but it they, works, yeah. right? It works, too. The only reason <laughs> it didn't work this time is all I did was look at their Twitter instead of the actual article. Well, see, I'm happy they exist because then it gives us funny things to talk about. It just right. Like... <laughs> that's well, literally that's, that's the only reason I want them to continue. Yeah. <laughs> just, it's like, dude, you're killing me. I'm like, OK, we get it. You're not referent. You're not going to talk about the original people who broke the story. You're not going to. Uh, have all, like actually good articles to read, but instead point out stupid, bad uh, personal vendettas you have against a game because of a hairstyle. I like I can't get over that. Um, it's like they just focus on like the the worst parts about something that no one actually cares about, and then uh, uh, people are just like, stop being stupid. Like, <laughs> stop it, stop, stop it, bad. Bad, bad Kotaku. You got swat. You know, a few times the, the internet has a swat Kotaku with like a newspaper. Like, bad journalist. Bad. Stop. Yeah. It. You know. Um. Yeah. Like. Uh, they're they're so far off with this proof it's a grim time for single player games. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, like they're pointing out all the great single player games. I think most of the game of the year nominees were single player. Alan Wake Two, Tears of the Kingdom, Resident Evil Four, and Baldur's Gate. Yeah, and then game. I'll be right. Back. Mario Wonder, right? Okay. That was the last one. No, uh, what was the last one? Was it Mario Wonder? I don't remember. What the heck were the? He's twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty. Oh my God! Sub Zero yeah. killed him. He oh. just disappeared. <laughs> uh, Alan Wake Two, Mario Wonder, Tears of the Kingdom, Baldur's Gate Three, Resident Evil Four, Spider Man Two. Yeah. Right. So. 
it was like literally, I mean, literally. I mean, yeah, you, you can play Mario Wonder and Baldur's Gate three co op, sure, but like the focus is technically single player, right? And most people played those games single player, right? Mo- yeah, really though. And the other ones you actually had to play single player. So, um, anyway, I'm applying for a journal job at Akutaku. I think if I just make up enough articles and say I'm really pissed off about it. I should get the job. Don't give me a reason to slug you in the arm again. <laughs> Not that I need a reason, but don't give me a reason. I'll be like, uh, let's see. What's something hate baby I could I could write about? Um, uh, oh, oh, uh, there's not enough women in Mario Wonder this year. Uh, there's only <laughs> three and there's like eight males. So it's uh, uh, the patriarchy. You know, it's just like, dude, no one, no one cares. <laughs> it's like, no one's upset about this issue, Kotaku. But I am. Therefore, I will write. I, I at this point, I almost honestly believe that they have like a quota for, for some kind of stupid you know, articles. Yeah, some, did we get something stupid this year? We'll see, like it works out for them because they get people like us to talk about them and people to click on their articles. So, right. Like, it's, it's like sort of genius, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. Can we do something so radically dumb? It'll get people to talk about us. <laughs> yeah. I, I got something. I got something this week. We we don't credit do you know gaming for something that they broke and talked about. Uh, genius. Uh, yeah. So uh, before we go, uh, there is one last thing I wanted to mention. Um, apparently, uh, uh, what is it called? Oh my god, I just lost a train of thought. It had to do with IGN. Uh oh oh, IGN played uh uh thirty hours of. That stupid pirate game, Derek. Um, uh, yes, the quadruple A type. Yeah, the quadruple. Oh, you know, we said yeah, the quadruple A uh, 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 skull and bones. They said after thirty hours, it gets kind of fun. It's like uh, also, That's, yeah. I, I, that is, the, I hate that. I play ninety hours of this game and then it's fun. <laughs> okay, like cool. What about the first ninety hours, though? No, those are terrible. No, you can't. No, no those are unbearable. I remember you actually seeing something about it and seeing that it didn't have a lot of the features that like something like Sea of Thieves did, and it's like, why would I want to play this when I could just go play Sea of Thieves? Right. Yeah. You want a pirate single player game? Go play Black Flag. You want a multiplayer pirate game? Go play Sea of Thieves. Skull Where does this game fit? Uh, you know, as in, soon as somebody makes an outlandish claim <laughs> like that, where it's it's a quadruple A title, you know, so bullshit. I know that. you're you're like hyping up dog poop. Like, there, come on. No, there, I mean, there's actually no doubt in my mind that they're they're paying IGN hardcore. Like, oh, hard, they, have yeah, to. Yeah, they know this thing is going to die on release. Like, right. come on. You know, it's like uh, Ooh, live action dead on, re- on <laughs> arrival. Who could have possibly seen this coming? <laughs> Maybe like the day of release, we just have to like have a stream where it's like speed run to death and watch as the Steam <laughs> player count hit zero. <laughs> oh, my God. It, I just like. I uh, 30 hours. To start having fun? What kind of video game is that? <laughs> you know, like what I'll tell you what kind of video game it is. A dead that, that video just game. worries me. How long is the whole game then? What like what am I but doing? Guys, guys, don't worry. They scrapped the thing, you know, like the story mode so they could make this expansive like world. That's what makes it quadruple A. Oh. Yeah, dude. Quadruple A, Darren. It all makes quadruple sense. A <laughs> that appears to have only the faintest whiff of a story. <laughs> I mean, we, we well, anyway, have other you. news. Did you know that uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon is at it again? Really? What are they playing now? Oh, uh, they're <laughs> going to be doing a, uh, another one of like red or blue or whatever. But this time, instead of it being uh, floating between order and anarchy or or anarchy and democracy, it's going to be full anarchy. That's awesome. Let's see. Uh, uh, did gonna, you see the goldfish that beat Godric? In, uh, I, I don't even want to talk about that. It's just gonna piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> that a goldfish can do it, and we'll... <laughs> yeah, a goldfish like the, like oh, it's going up. Like what? How how big of a brain does a goldfish have? Damn. Yeah. Not a very big one. If it can cross to one side of the bowl and then completely forget about it. But a right, show of hands, who here's getting the quadruple A game, Skull and Bones? Eric. Eric Rob, raise your hand. <laughs> Who's getting it for Rob? Yes, we're all pitching in. 
So Rob Everybody can play the pirate pitch simulator. Pitch in twenty dollars and we get it for Rob. Yes. Uh, now, Rob, yes. do you want the standard, deluxe, or gold version? Because it's a Ubisoft game. So <laughs> no, there is premium, premium edition. Premium. Dude. Honestly, at least it's not a cut and paste of Far Cry, right? Can we agree that like Ubisoft <laughs> tried to make <laughs> a new game? Right, how about this? Right. Instead of the money that you would have spent on that, you take it a step further, uh, double that, and you buy me oh. a PVC anime figurine on it. <laughs> i'll let you know which one i'm looking for all right perfect uh, i'm on it what, and I'll, what I'll, do i have to say real quick I'd, I'd be less embarrassed to buy that than i would to buy this game what were you saying george oh i was gonna say if uh if we do do that and you know buy rob now that pvc doo-doo. figure uh <laughs> we we just don't give it to g phone to hand off because it'll never happen right it'll be on the shelf with the rest of the girls wait girls. There, do you give george his early gift no, it's still sitting here. Killing it. Kill it. That's you're, why you're, you have not received a proper thank you yet. I have yeah. not forgotten. But... One day I'll remember. One day. Uh, well, here, guys, I as well, you know, now early Christmas bonus for the team. It is Skull and Bones. Uh, nice, uh, ultimate nice. edition for everyone. Uh, it is three player. So uh, one of you guys are going to be getting the copy to stop playing with us. Yo, ho, ho, <laughs> sail on alone. It'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you. I'll try to keep up with you guys as I uh, play it solo. Yo ho ho! I'm sailing alone. <laughs> uh, man, that's good to laugh again. But uh, guys, got anything else before the old dusty trail? Uh, I before E, except after C. I think you said that last time. It's kind of my catchphrase at this point. Um, I'm just scrolling through my Steam stream deck to find the. the oh, there it is. That's the outro button. All right. That was the episode, guys. We did it. We survived. This is the third take, but you know what? Better than never. Uh, if you liked our stuff, support us by joining our Discord family first. So, like, you know, make us have a cool community. Uh, become a member in our YouTube. Grow our Discord to a point so we can actually justify Discord, like, memberships. Uh, we love talking to everyone. We love interacting, sharing memes. Uh, you we know, like, lamp. We, yeah, we love lamp. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys become our best friends. Watch our stuff. Uh, tell us what to react to if you want to. Um, give George a compliment once in a while. He'd like that. And uh, we'll we'll see you guys next time. So have a good one. Have a good episode. Bye bye. Bye bye. Rob, you have to you have to say the words. Bye. Bye. Oh, okay. <laughs>